Hey everybody, I'm going to show you some strategies for how you might answer a question like you see here. But before I show you the strategy, I think it's necessary for us to first look at it using what I call the hard way to evaluate what this is going to equal. So we're going to go left to first. We're going to kind of take each operation one at a time and kind of go back and forth on the number line. And uh, we'll use, how about we use a blue, blue pen to start. All right, so if we're at zero and we just deal with this first thing, that means we're going to go left 2. So we're going to go left 1, 2, and we're at a negative 2. So we've just completed that. Now let's complete this. We're going to go to the right 5 from where we left off. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right now we're at a 3. Now we're going to go forward or to the right 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we're at a 9. Now we're going to go left 4. Subtract 4 means go left 4. So here we are at the 9. We're going to go left 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're right here at the 5. Now we're going to go to the right 3 from where we left off. 1, 2, 3. So now we're at the 8. We're going to go left 3. 1, 2, 3. So now we're back at the 5. And then finally we're going to go to the right 1. Go to the right 1 and we end up at 6. So we know that this all equals a positive 6. So let's put that right over here. Positive 6. All right, now I want to show you an easier way to do that that doesn't require any jumping back and forth on the number line. What we're going to do is let's take a look at all of our um, positive values first. So I'm going to put those, uh, I'm going to circle them in green. All right, now another thing you can think, I don't know if you had teachers that show you these integer chips, but that means we have you know, five of these, six more of them, three more of them, and one more. I mean, how many yellow chips do we have all together? And it's kind of a little too complex for me to drag those out, but I'm hoping you can visualize that. All right, so maybe we can go ahead and even think about that. Five plus six would be 11, and then what would uh, this plus this would be four? What's 11 plus four? 11 plus four. Or if you want to just kind of do it separately, that would be positive 15. So in other words, we have 15 of these yellow chips. All right, now let's take a look at what we have for negative values. We have a negative 2, we have a negative 4, and we have a negative 3. So how many red chips do we have all together? We have, this would make negative 6, and then if we go left 3 more, aren't we at a negative 9? So that's going to equal negative 9. Now if we combine a negative 9 and a positive 15, or if we're at 9, a negative 9, and we go forward 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't we still land at the 6? All right, now using the shortcut, let's take a look at the next one. We're going to combine our like terms, and we're going to you know, help you understand why this works, because some people get a little bit uncomfortable because they think we're not following order of operations, so I want to show you something else. Hopefully time will allow for me to show you this. All right, so let's just look at our positive values first. This is a positive, even though there isn't a sign in front of it. So let's think of that as a positive 5, positive 7, positive 8, positive 2, and a positive 5. And let's kind of chunk our compatible numbers together. This would be a 10, and this and this would be a 10. So now we're up to 20, and we have a 7. So that's a positive 27. All right, now let's think of our negative numbers. We have a negative 4, a negative 6, and a negative 3. So this and this is a negative 10, and then a negative 3 would be a negative 13. All right, so we have to subtract these values because the signs are different. And we get 14, and we have more yellow chips than we have red chips, so it's going to be a positive 14 for our final answer. So therefore, if you were to add all this up and do go back and forth on the number line, you would get a positive 14. Now there's one last thing that I want to show you that I was confused about myself when I was a student, and that's the idea that subtracting something is the same as adding its opposite. So you might see it represented like that. Subtracting 6 is the same as adding a negative 6. Subtracting 3 is the same as adding a negative 3. So if you get a little freaked out by order of operations, you could rethink it as what you see here written with the red addition, and that's perfectly okay. All right, I hope you found this helpful.